So what I, my name is Hagen. I am since 750 years in this Joomla business. And when you talk to people in the beginning, it's about we are doing, we are making the world a better place. We are building bridges. We are transparent. And at the end, people are discussing who pays the taxi, who pays the beer. And there is always money involved. And someone has to pay the hotel and, and all this. So it's crucial to earn a little bit of money with, with the things you do. And some people, well, they have their day job. Some people go to university. Some people are even in school or re are retired or this. So the whole topic of earning money is, well, what do you think? Why are you working with Joomla, let's say? 50%, okay, it's fun, and it's of course more than 50%, I want to make a business out of this. So this was the idea for this session, and three years ago I stopped, more or less, I, I'm a writer, I'm an author, and I stopped with writing, and I did three years something totally different, I restored old houses, and I worked with sand and wood and steel and all this stuff, and after three years, now I came back and I had a look, or I thought, well, maybe I can look at Joomla, what happened in the last three years. So and this was the basic idea of this, of, uh, of this session. And yesterday, yesterday we discussed in the bar, and there were people from Kenya, Uganda, Switzerland, Germany, India, Bangladesh, Bulgaria, Romania, and France talking about how to earn money. And it's interesting because when you look at the figures, Switzerland is one of the richest countries in the world. And I don't know about the others, but they are for sure poorer or not that much income. And you see, the Swiss trick is always they give you chocolate. Yeah? <laughs> so it's, <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> so, so be aware of this. <laughs> The chocolate is a nice thing, but insist of a little bit of money. <laughs> and it always starts like this. So what, what I'm talking about in this session, I did a little survey in my blog. My blog is not that popular, but OK, there was a, a few answers. And then I talk a little bit about money and needs, and then the relationship to Joomla. And then a few business or yeah, a few business models you you can do in Joomla. And then hopefully I can hear some feedback from you, some business experiences, how you earn money with Joomla, or how you earn no money with Joomla, or how you try it, or why it is complicated and, and this stuff. So let's say it's a little bit of reality. The survey was quite simple. It was how much do you earn with Joomla per year? approximately, but it depends on taxes and all these things. I know just to, to, to have a figure. And then how much do you earn approximately per hour? And the important thing is be honest. Because when I'm writing a book, I earn per hour, I don't know, maybe one euro or something. Yeah? And I learn a lot. So there's, there's another benefit of this, but it's, it's not about the money. And in which country are you based? or mainly working from, because nowadays it's often like this, that people like me, I'm born in Germany, but I live in France, and I work, I don't know, in Turkey or so. And the server is in, I don't know, in, in, in Switzerland. And then I, am, I have a Swiss company, which is registered in UK or so, and who do I send the, the taxes, or what should I write on the invoice? And it's not, it's not so easy to, uh, uh, to have answers you know, on this. And then in which, uh, oh yeah, and the, the final one was, are you contributing to the Joomla project? Because the contributing thing is, is OK. Usually in Europe, there was always a church. And when, when you did something in the area where the church is, you have, you have to give something for the church. And there is a similar system usually in every culture. You have some, some group that rules more or less the whole thing, and you have to give something. And often it was around 10% or so. 
So and for me, 10% is okay, but when you look at countries like Switzerland or Norway or Sweden, they charge you nearly 50 or 60%, <laughs> and then you think about, well, <laughs> there must be another solution, yeah? And so companies like Amazon or Apple, they know exactly where to put the money to avoid taxes. So I think Amazon paid in the UK last year 4,000 pounds taxes. So it's, I don't say it's good, but if it is possible, people think of this. And I got answers to, uh, to my, my few questions from 37 countries, and uh, no, from 37 people in 16 countries. And that I found quite interesting because I'm, I'm here in, in, in this area, and yeah, I, these people responded to my blog. And I thought, oh wow, so the world is com comes together, that's nice. And even if it's just 37, I, I found this very nice. And then I got one uh, answer, I published this on Facebook, and then he asked, is there an option that says, by steering unhappy Joomla site owners into WordPress? <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> it's, a, it's a fair point. <laughs> so, mm, yeah. And these are my results. So the yearly income is, I was a bit surprised because this I expected, because for me, I'm not so involved anymore. I'm, I'm here in this area, what, what comes from Joomla. But there are several people that have more than 80,000 US dollar income from Joomla. And this was a bit surprising for me. So it starts here with less than 1,000. And here it's bigger than 80,000. And between 20 and 40,000 seems to be most of the people. OK, and this means you earn per hour in US dollar, this is five, this is more than 80, and you see here between 40 and 80. And I thought, are they not honest, or are they earning that much money? Do I, some, do, I do something wrong, or what, <laughs> what is the thing? Yeah, so, so I was really curious, how, how does this work? Yeah? And yeah, and then I asked, what is your job? So it, it's hard to read. But uh, most of them are site builders, programmers, and web agencies. So these are the, the, three, the three biggest uh, things here. And then you have designers, bloggers, SEO specialists, authors, poor people, like, people like me, marketing, public relation, and this. So most of the people that are involved in Joomla seems to be site builder, programmer, and web agencies. And this is quite different to... Uh, to other projects, because mostly the programmers are the guys who earn most of the money. And I thought, oh wow, in Joomla it's the site builders. So <laughs> there, this seems to be complicated or easy to, uh, to combine the Lego bricks of Joomla and make a little money of this. Okay. And then I thought, okay, who of them earns the most? So is it the marketing guys or is it the programmers or this? And it was also the site builders. So the site builders are the guys that had this income of $60 per hour. And it was not the designer and even not the programmer. So, the, OK, it was only 37 answers. So it's, it's not representative, I know. But I, I was a little bit surprised that it's like this. And when I talk to people here at the conference, it seems right, the, these, these figures. So then. Ah, yeah, then was the, the income per hour in the country. And of course, you have here Denmark and Sweden. So our president is from Sweden. And <laughs> is she here, Sarah? No. And so we have here Denmark, Sweden, Germany, United States, Switzerland, Mauritius. Is someone here from Mauritius? No? OK, there was one answer. From Australia, UK, Caribbean, oh, yeah. Ireland, Spain, France, France, look here, this is France, this is Germany, this is where you are in reality, yeah? So. <laughs> I will move to Germany. No, no, but the next after France is Nigeria, <laughs> so, then Peru, India, Chile. But what I, what I found interesting is it's, it's mixed and, and it's, it's balanced 
oh, it's not bad. It's okay. They they have the most, but they are not that much. They are not that much Swedish people. Not that much Danish. I think even Bangalore is bigger than Denmark, or, or more more uh, more people in Bangalore than in Denmark. So and then was the question: Are you contributing to the Joomla project? And most of them said yes, and but there is twenty or ninety percent that said no, no, and often. I have the impression it's not intentional. It's just I don't know how to contribute. So if someone would ask me or on the shake, it would be very easy. And this was interesting for me, so money is definitely not all. And in different countries, you have different cultures, of course, but always the same. It's these three things of money. So it's a medium of exchange, because it's simply handy. If I do something, you give me the money, and okay, all these circle, we all know this. It's a unit of account, so if I have something I don't know, this computer is worth something. So you have, an, you have an idea what is the worth of this thing. And I think the most important thing, or not the most important, but for a lot of people, is it's also a store of value. And this depends on, on cultures. So when you look at needs, you have this old thing from Maslow. I think you all know this. Yeah. And the interesting thing with this is it's from 1943, and he said only 2% of mankind will reach self-actualization, so this thing here. And most of the countries are more or less in, in this area here, and it's very, it takes a long time to, uh, to step up. So f here is these, these little things, what you need, oh, little things, water, uh, a roof, shelter this time. Here is safety. It would be good to have financial safety, health safety, love, belonging. You want to have a family and esteem. OK, it would be nice to, uh, to have this. And this is a pyramid. OK. And when we did this Lego session, we didn't mention this because I thought, oh, wow, that's quite strange. So, so I did not. I was in a group of Indian people, and I talked with them, do you know Lego? No, because it's too expensive and it's not that widespread in, in India. So, well, <laughs> when I grew up, yes, I had this mountain of Lego and I played with this in the 70s and for me it was, let's say, a kind of framework to everything. So when I now do something in life, when I build a house, I, I think of Lego. When I build something in the garden, I think of Lego. When, when I see Joomla, I, I think of Lego. But yeah, there are countries in the world where this doesn't exist or not that much or so. So for them, it was totally new. So we spent the first 10 minutes, and I described, this is Lego. You have to put it together. You have to do it in this way and that way. And if you combine these, it will break. And it's better to take this one with the four knobs or the six knobs, because you get your experience as a kid when you, when you work with this. 24-7. And the result was the Joomla community in 10 years. The little yellow ones were two years. So this is two, four, six, eight, ten. And it should be colorful and it should be creative and everything. But there needs to be money 
in between. And so, oh, wow, it works. <laughs> so, so, so finally, the, the session worked, even if it was Lego and even if it was, uh, if it was a bit, bit, bit different. And coming back to, to, this, uh, to this here, stores of values are also different. So for example, in some countries, it's real estate. For example, I try to restore old houses in France. I rent them out, and I try to make a living on the income from them. A lot of people in the United States try the same, but not about the houses. It's more about the banking system. So they try to, uh, to buy something, and two years later, they try to sell it for a higher price to pay the mortgage and everything. And if it is OK, it works, but somehow they, they get in problem. You can also, here in India, I learned people are often buying gold or precious metal, stones, I don't know what, some, something, something nice. So it's also a store of value. Then a lot of people, especially in Switzerland, they are collecting arts or antiques, cars, I don't know what, boats nowadays. So we have <laughs> in our area, one Swiss guy, he's collecting boats and airplanes. So OK, <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I learned in Colombia, drugs are a store of value. <laughs> so it's, yeah, it works. And it's, it's, it's very small and it's, it's good for, for a few years. So and then I talked to, to African people and it's about livestock. So we talked about marriage and how it worked. And I learned the, the word dowry. Is it, is it, is it dow yeah, yeah. And here in, in India, I think it's about money or gold or, or something. And the family of the woman has to pay, is this right? And in Africa, in Kenya and Uganda, it's vice versa. So the family of the men <laughs> have to pay. And they are not so in gold. They are more in practical things like cows, goats, pigs, and, and this stuff. So I think the best business opportunity would be to bring together an African guy with an Indian lady. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> so that, well, that they managed to, to get some start money for their business and then go somewhere where you have to pay not that much taxes, maybe Luxembourg or something. <laughs> so, okay, this is livestock. And then, yeah, this, I'm, I'm not sure whether I find, find it good or not. You can buy stocks, at stock exchanges, and you can deal with them. And it's more or less an exchange of human labor for value. So when you look at Apple stocks or something, it's, there's also a lot of human labor behind, which is bought in cheap countries, and you earn money with stocks. Um, it's an ethical thing. You have to think about whether it's a good thing or not. And then in Germany, for example, it's, it's the only place where I saw this. They have now these value cards for money. So you don't have to pay with cash. You can pay with a little card, and there's a kind of cash on it. It's the same. There are kind of prepaid cards for money. And usually you know this from telephones. You have prepaid cards or some, somehow this, this card thing. And then more and more cryptocurrencies arrive, like Bitcoin. And this is also interesting for me because luckily I started with some bitcoins a few few years ago, so I'm I'm a bit into that. Who who of you has ah wow? <laughs> so, so it's possible to afford the the thing with the marriage, yeah? So <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, and then Joomla. Joomla is also a store of value. Uh, Joomla? Why? Why? What? What is with Joomla? But then when you go back to the needs, you see, hey, wow. So it could work, yeah? So it doesn't work for everyone. Oh, <laughs> you, you remember, 2%, two, two yeah? So <coughs> may, Martin, maybe, maybe you, so with, with Joomla? What, what do you think? Well, my life. Yeah? And then don't have to get money from it. So, so he comes from the Netherlands. He's retired, and he's organizing since Ten years or, so, or involved in, in this organization of Joomla days in the Netherlands, and for you it's uh, yeah in this area here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do we have people in 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 this area here? Financial safety or 
So are, are people here in the room that simply earns money to pay something with Joomla? No? No one? Maybe it's the wrong question. So <laughs> 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 Sorry. OK, let's leave it like this. Is. I think you got the idea. So you can be a part of all these wonderful teams. You have heard this already 150 times at this conference, so I say it again. These are more or less the different areas you find on the website. And from the past, I can say, avoid this. Yes. <laughs> you never earn money. <laughs> This is nice to have free beer. This is nice to learn how people react if you write something what you think is the truth. And this is usually, they have a poor user interface and everything, so you have to really work on this. This is new, I didn't know. I registered a few days ago. Luckily, there was no capture, so I managed it. The forum is, I think, one of the most important things because all the questions you have are usually you get an answer on the forum. A little problem in Joomla are the different languages. So in the beginning there was a big English forum, a big German forum, a big French forum, in diff different languages and it's, it's hard to organize the topic. It's not possible to make it really multilingual. <laughs> there are always different communities separated by languages. Yeah, and then you have more than 30 uh, working groups, I think, and I was surprised, oh wow, so many working groups, because I past worked for bigger companies, and the recipe for avoiding a problem was we found a working group, and then they can talk about, and then there is no problem anymore. And at some stages in the Joomla project, it was like this, so we, we have this problem, so let's do this in a working group, and okay, and nothing happened. And then there is the social media team. Yeah, OK, so you can be a part of it. And the interesting thing is you, you are a part of it already. So you are here, and you, yeah, you are somehow connected to the whole thing. And then I looked at this Joomla About page, because I thought, mm, what's, what are they saying about their project? And they say, Okay, it's the most popular open source CMS. I don't know. It's, I think it's a definition of CMS. But the important thing here is, is open source. And the important thing here is we have a lot of users. And this is original from the, from the of, in brackets, official Joomla about. And open source, yesterday Chris Davenport said nobody asked him in the last years what is open source. But when I asked my neighbor in France, do you know open source? Well, it's, and I think you know a lot of people, they, they are not familiar with, with open source. So in general, it's this collaborative competition. And the Im important thing is the multiple independent sources. And I think the important thing is the, the independent. And the independent is always if you are funded by someone or if you are paid by someone <laughs> often they expect well tell the truth but tell it not so loud yeah or this is so you have to be you have to work on this independent thing it's it's really important and the good thing is it generates this diverse scope of design perspective so someone is, has the idea we should organize this, like Lego bricks, or someone has the idea we should organize this in another way, and usually they find a way. And there is no, definitely no company on this planet is, is capable to do it better. And 10 years ago, the companies don't realize this. They, they went on with their model. But nowadays, I have the impression, they use a lot of open source communities as a very cheap research facility so that you can say, oh, try this in your CMS, and if it works, we take it, because it's GPL. So, and this is also, mm, we have to be careful about this. So it's, it's OK that, that they do it, and more and more companies embrace that. And there are also companies like that, companies like that. So yeah, you have to see. So business models, business models. Uh, in my 
uh, in my survey, I had these six. When I thought of Joomla, I thought of site builders, programmers, designers, bloggers, authors, some SEO stuff, and maybe some marketing and PR. This came in my uh, came in my head when I thought of Joomla, and then. Where can you charge? You can make free downloads, or you cannot charge. You can paid downloads, paid subscriptions, paid services, advertisements, and trainings. I think that's mainly what you can do with uh, with with these with these Joomla software, and you can use the whole project to let's say to to use it for marketing reasons. For example, here there is the Joomla resource directory. And they have different different words here, so it's creative strategy, configuration support, so there are even more of stuff. But I think it's mainly the the six. Who of you know that this exists? Resources.joomla.org. So there are a few that don't know. And when you look here, we have five entries from India. And India is, I think, nearly 20% of the people in the world. Yeah? So <laughs> five of, of them are in, in this Joomla resource directory. So maybe it should be a good idea to emphasize this a little <laughs> bit more, because I have the impression there are even Joomla people in Bangalore. So this, this is uh, here. So and there's, well, there's not. So if I'm a client here, I would think, oh, I go to, what is, what, I don't know. Mumbai, yeah. But maybe there is something on the way. Yeah? <laughs> and if you are a programmer or site builder, you have the, of course, the extension directory. Who, who of you uses the extension directory? OK. <laughs> so <laughs> so that's, that's mainly the thing. You know everything about this. And nowadays, it's possible to install it from the Joomla admin. OK, but one, how, how does it work in, in general? So this is an example for a free download. So that's the business model from Zobi. They offer their component for free, or the, the base component for free. And if you want to have additional services, you have to pay. For example, here, you have the, usually this is the, the thing with bronze and silver or gold or different words. But usually, you have three possibilities to, to do something. And in that case, it's about support and stuff, ticket systems. and. On the left side, it's cheaper. On the right side, it's more expensive. So good. And then you have paid downloads. This is like an, like an app store. So it's not the subscription model. You just buy it, and, and then it's yours. And this is an example from, I don't know. The, it's a company from India, yeah. Yeah, I was looking. For, is someone here from this company? Or do you know this company? It's from India. <laughs> uh, WDM Tech. I don't know. I found it via Google. No? <coughs> and they seem to do a lot of stuff with, with Joomla. OK, and then, for example, you have also services like installation service or individual support. And depending on your country and depending on the parameters in your country, you can charge, I don't know, something for, for, for updates or this kind of stuff. So then, this is also interesting. There is in the Joomla extension directory, there's advertisements. And they advertise for a template builder. So to build a template in Joomla seems to be complicated. And someone created a tool to make it easier to build a template in Joomla. And he puts an advertisement on the Joomla.org page. So this could also be a business model to build something to make life easier for, for people that ju use Joomla. I think the better solution would be to make template building that easy that it's not necessary to need another tool. But that's a different question. So, And you have also different app stores. So I found a uh, website called Joomla Wings. Do, do you know this? Ever heard of this? I don't know. It exists. And you can put your extension there. and. I don't know if it's open. I don't know all the things behind. But it seems to be a kind of app store for Joomla. And there are several apps inside. And I don't know how does it work. But it, I think it should be good to, to look around those things, whether it exists, what it is, also for the Joomla project to embrace <coughs> these, these ideas. And yeah, then you can do it 
in a traditional way, for example, you are a designer and you do handcrafted design. So handcrafted word here. I don't know whether it's possible to find a client for this, but it exists. And you can also do it in this way. This is the subscription model. So you can have these Joomla templates and every month a new one or, the, or these kind of things. And what's also possible, for example, you can blog about Joomla. This is a guy from Norway. So imagine Norway is, OK, they earn a lot of money, but they have to pay also a lot of money. The country is very, very expensive. And he managed to get his income from, from a blog in Norway. And he has a disclaimer. And here it says, this blog accepts forms of cash advertising, sponsorships, pays insertions, or other forms of compensation. So it seems to be possible <coughs> to, uh, to make a living of that. Then, for example, you can do updates in security services. So there is always updates, and there are always problems <laughs> with updates. So you can you can help with updates. And this is an email, and I'm I'm in France, and I received from this company a hop minus fr dot com. I think every month twenty emails, and they say your website needs to be updated. Call us drop us a line and everything. And there's a lot of room for improvement because uh, Cocoa is a Drupal website. <laughs> so it's, <laughs> so, it's, so I think, well, you have to be careful with, with these things. Because when you say, I am the specialist, and I'm the security thing, and I fix your Joomla site, and you say, well, it's, you don't have to. It's a different system. <laughs> so then is what yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. To, to fix our uh, site secure ah okay yeah usually i try it by myself so i never i never use the service like this but you you do it for example and yeah for clients yeah okay then you can sell yourself so for example this is the website of brian Tiemann. you know brian Tiemann? Yeah. just a few <laughs> just a few okay <laughs> And he has this, I, I, yeah, he, he, he's doing training and he's doing stuff. So, so the whole thing is, a, let's say, a piece of art and he earns money from that. And it's enough to make a living. And this is also, a, a, let's say, a good solution because it was nearly the same for me. I wrote a few books and it wasn't that easy to, to make marketing. And in the beginning, it wasn't possible to spread books for free. So you, you need to have an editor or something like this. So it's always good to think about, not name it, sell yourself, maybe brand yourself or so. So this is also, my English is a bit poor because I'm German. And Germans are lazy with these languages. So and when I heard yesterday the story with Johan with these different levels of being angry at the, oh my god, and you do it. <laughs> Yeah, and I already learned there are different words in, in different English communities. So if you say a word in UK or even in Scotland, it's different than in England. So I'm not into that business. So then it's also possible simply to write a book. It's still possible. And there are still people outside that read books. <laughs> and <laughs> so and there are these official things. They made a partnership with these evil brackets publisher Pearson I worked for long years and the good thing is we have wonderful books about Joomla the bad thing is you have to pay yeah and there's also and then I thought what can I do and I I had a different idea I wrote a book and gave it for free and asked uh, companies to to pay me something and if there was a certain amount I started to write a book and in the beginning or when I, as long as I worked for the publishing company, I earned less compared to the time when I spent the books for free. Because then people call me, oh, you know this and this and this. Do you want to make a training or consulting and something? And this was very, very successful for me, for example. There were more than one million downloads of these Joomla books. And afterwards, yeah, people called me. And this was, this was nice. So these were a few business models I thought this is possible with Joomla and yeah now business experiences and it's a bit hard when you ask people hey how is it in your business how does it work because eh, 
let's say 70% is, is okay, but there's always a rest of 30% they don't want to mention. So, and one interesting thing was I asked people everywhere in the world, and, and then I, I had this in the survey, this little checkbox, and I asked them, is it possible to, to present or to say something about you? And if they want it, they can, they can provide an email address. So I wrote to them, and I wrote to them, please give me a few words what you are doing and what it is because I want to present it. And there you see exactly the difference be between the United States, Germany, and France. So I got an answer of Mike and short, short. This is short. And then he comes from the United States. Then I got an answer from Germany. This is short. <laughs> and the interesting thing here is this is a woman and the website is Dr. Menzel. So she, in, in Germany, it's still very important to be a professor or a doctor or something. So if you have this university degree, people are very proud of this. And say, oh, wow. And then France. <laughs> yeah, but, but what I like about this, this is exactly the reality. When you are on a French Joomla conference, you get Wonderful food. It's a wonderful environment. There is French <laughs> cheese. You have fresh baguettes. But you don't see laptops or something. <laughs> <laughs> and when you are here in the United States, okay, everything is relatively pragmatic. Yeah. And here it's more, well, I'm Dr. Mr. Important. And I <laughs> <laughs> so it was nice. But okay, all these three do, do some stuff with Joomla, and it is. It's, it's okay and it's very serious. So this is Mike. He will come later on and say something. Viviana is not here, so she cannot say something. And this is Daniel from France. And I don't want to, to say this. Please say, say something. <laughs> Daniel, what, what, is, what is your thing with, with businesses? Um, I, I, as I wrote to you uh, first, um, yeah, I, um, I accept to, to reply to your, your survey because yeah. I think it's a good idea share experience with others because it can uh, give uh, guidelines or idea to others to say, oh, it's possible to do that. Uh, I don't imagine. I can't I, I do that. But, uh, I'm doing wrong. I'm, uh, I try to do it. That's why I wanted to, to yeah. try and share my experience. And um, uh, I also wanted to show that uh, it's possible to, to be happy in his job because before Joomla, um, I was, uh, as I wrote, uh, working in an insurance company uh, for uh, maybe 20 years, and uh, it, it wasn't, uh, I, I wasn't happy in, in this job. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, when I met Joomla in two, 2007, uh, yeah, uh, I, I found my way. That's what I want to do, and I, I've learned uh, HTML, CSS, I don't, I didn't know it, yeah, it yeah. exists, well, it exists. and now uh, this is my business. Yeah, and now it's possible. You make a living on it. Yeah, yeah, I'm really good. And you're happy. Yeah, yeah. So when you think of the pyramid, so there are a few Joomlas on, on this, yeah, yeah. I'm maybe not on the top. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> I'm not okay. I'm, I'm not. I'm not uh, German. I'm not. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> from Sweden. <laughs> no, no, no. That was, okay. It was not. No, no, no. no, no. I don't live on. I don't live on the Paradise Island. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, yeah. No, but uh, but uh, it's possible. It works for you. That's the most important. Yeah, thing. yeah. That's an achievement. And you are here and everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then, for example, I have Lorenz. Yeah. Lorenz, you. Did this? You are in Switzerland. And you work together with someone from Manila. Manila from the Philippines. And so my name is Lawrence, and I started, I started working with Google a long time ago, even in the mountain days. I was like not ready to learn programming, and I had lots, lots of customers who wanted to get trained. So
for my clients. And it's really good. We, we never we never met in personally, but next year I really want to go to Manila to fix the business. And I think think it's a really good opportunity for Joomla people who want to make business with, with Joomla. Connect themselves. Yeah. Connect themselves. Yeah. Absolutely. And okay, that's me. I'm not so important. And this was interesting because I want to hear this story from Uganda, from Webstar.qg. Because you you make you had this nice business idea. Yeah, woo! <laughs> company called Webster Uganda and uh, of course Webster Uganda is doing uh, web design, hosting and uh, part of my free time I go training uh, youth uh, different universities. We do free trainings for, on Joomla and uh, also give them a bit of advice on how to uh, get, get something to do before they finish uh, campus because most uh, most of the students, when they finish, they remain unemployed. So we do that free training. And uh, I didn't realize it until uh, when I was talking to him yesterday. Most of the students that I train, when they become developers, they come to me to host, and they pay money. <laughs> I later on realized that it was a very good thing. That I'm, I'm actually earning a lot out of it. Yeah, thank you. So we are we are running out of time. I, I we're, think. we're done. We, we, we're done. Yeah, sorry. Okay, sorry. So, but it would be very very nice to share your experiences of this honestly <laughs> <laughs> to do something together because it's it's worth. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs>